Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today I will explain how to run multiple algorithms with joiner node in NIME. So for this, we will go in the NIME analytics platform. I will activate the input output node from here. CSV reader. I will browse the data set which is in CSV format. Predictive analytics, time, data, heart one, open, click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now, right click on it and you can see the file table. We have to do the classification of heart disease based on age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, and maximum hours of exercise. So, I'll activate the column filter so that we can select only those variables from which the model is to be created. Configure, I'll take all the variables on left hand side, age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, maximum hours of exercise, heart disease, click OK, right click on it and execute. Now all these variables are on different scales and therefore it is necessary that we normalize it. So I'll activate the normalizer from here, right click on it and configure, click OK. Right click on it and execute. We go for mean max normalization. Now, let's activate the decision tree from here. The decision tree learner and decision tree predictor. So, this decision tree learner will configure our disease is our target variable. Click OK, right click on it and execute. In decision tree predictor, we will configure later on first of all we will connect this normalizer configure change prediction column name and append columns with normalized class distribution click ok right click on it and execute again right click on it and you can see the classified data according to the decision tree now here i'll activate another algorithm which is support vector machine I'll activate its predictor also. So this predictor will get its learning from here, but the data set will become will be from this normalizer. Right click on it, configure. Heart disease is our target variable. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Click on SVM predictor, configure, change prediction column name, append columns with normalized class distribution. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now we are having the output from two algorithms which we want to join. So I'll activate the joiner from here. So this is entry and SVM predictor. Right click on it, configure. So there is a left side and there is a right side. So add a matching criteria. So the row ID of the left one will be matched with the row ID of the right one. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now, you can activate the ROC curve from here. This will disconnect. Right click on it. Configure. Activate the heart disease from here. Yes. And transfer all other variables this side. Now there are two uh, uh, heart disease. Uh, we are having probabilities of two heart disease as yes. So we'll first pick up the probability of the heart disease left one and the probability of the heart disease right one. Click OK. Uh, still the cross is there. No need to worry. Right click on it. Configure. Go in general plot options, create image at pot, click OK, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see, you can see the image quite good. So we are having the EOC for left algorithm and the right algorithm. Now I can activate the scorer from here. So the scorer will be activated. 
I'll connect the scorer from here. Right click on it, configure. Hard disk is the original data set. So first we will do the prediction for uh, this one, left one. So it is not given the name left one, but prediction hard disk is left and right. Two are there, two algorithms are there. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and you can see the confusion matrix. So it gives a classification accuracy of the left algorithm. Okay, again, right click on it. And now you activate the right side, click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and you can see the confusion matrix. So this gives me for the right one. We can also generate the lift chart. Double click on the lift chart. Connect with this joiner. Right click on it, configure. Activate the heart disease, probability column. Yes, this is for the left one. Activate the positive label, it says yes, click OK. Still the cross is there, no need to worry. Again, go in configure and activate general plot options, create image at plot, click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the image. So this is an image, this is a lift chart for the left algorithm. I want to activate for the right one. Again, go in configure and data options and this time activate. P heart disease right algorithm. Click OK. Execute. Right click on it and you can see the image. This is a lift chart for the right side algorithm. So this is a way you can run multiple algorithms using joiner node in Nine. For more videos on Nine, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on Nine.